what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more full metal alchemist brotherhood fmab more full reactions for y'all one more time so we're gonna pick up where we left off before i took that long break of course so i'm hoping you guys are ready for some full metal alchemist brotherhood i'm gonna try to trump to do as much as these as possible but you guys We'll only be getting two episodes per day as usual um, until we wrap up. I got about 40 something, about 40 more episodes to go, I think. Some like about 40 even, um, or I think it's like 42 because I think we're starting on 23 today. If I'm this, not mistaken, yes, episode 23. So I'm going to be doing episodes 23 and 24 today. Um, and then we'll continue from there. So if I could remember correctly, cause I know I probably don't remember exactly what's going on at the moment, but I do remember the storyline, um, that was previously, um, done. Why is my headphone chipping out right now? Weird. Anyways, my green screen is coming through and there's nothing green on my headphone. Like why is it doing that? That's weird. Anyways, um, so it's just yeah so i remember the storyline um I, if i remember correctly i think um there's something going on with with scar at the moment um they've met up i think they're fighting right now if i'm not mistaken i think scar is fighting the, the elric brothers if i'm not mistaken right now and they've met up or where something is going on and he hasn't really um yeah anything else i probably don't remember i probably should go back and watch those episodes to be honest um like a few back i did not do that but we're gonna see what happens maybe what happens today will remind me of a lot of what's going on i did take a break guys so just bear with me um so if after this if i watch this episode if i watch episode 23 and it doesn't remind me of a lot of the stuff because usually it's just needed to my memory just needs to be jogged is all um and i'll remember all the events that has taken place i remember pretty much all the stuff that has taken place you know what i'm saying i remember about the homunculus and all that stuff that is going on what i don't re remember if i'm to be honest if i don't remember what exactly is going on right now at this moment um like episode 22 kind of stuff but I, as i said i do remember the storyline of what we're trying to find out of what we're following the things that had happened in the past the stuff about um ishbal and all of this other stuff you know what i'm saying mustang putting his life on the line to get the truth out them being attacked by um gluttony all that stuff i remember it just that I don't remember what happened in episode 22, if I'm supposed to, you know what I'm saying? So let's jump into it and then I will give you guys a review. I'll let you guys know. I'm still probably going to go back and watch a couple of episodes just to be sure of what I'm talking about. So I'm probably going to be real quiet in this episode because I'm trying to remember, but we still going to be watching and see what's going on. But as I said, I do remember that Scar is like, I think they're fighting with the, he's fighting with the Elric brothers right now if i'm not mistaken so let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review all right looking back episodes 23 and 24 man this anime is so good it's so good and it just reminds me how much fun i was having watching it coming back to it right now i mean it looks like the fuhrer has all these commanders or whatever seems like they don't know he's a homunculus but he is they are under his command i don't think they know i think i think they probably just think that it's a you know that he you know <laughs> because mustang was joking about it they probably believe that you know um oh say it in front of him you know what i'm saying give a joke say the joke in front of him you know so we'll see how that storyline develops gluttony has eaten edward and look like he ended up in the place where all this stuff actually go i'm wondering if if 
gluttony kind of if whatever he eats like it's like a black hole like it just gets whatever it is can he regurgitate anything you get what i'm saying like i'm looking at that too is that maybe he can regurgitate some stuff seems like it's a whole world that he's you know what i'm saying like it's like a like a different dimension or space that whatever he eats go to it seems so so it's just weird to see but anyways that little girl that came to rescue scar um i remember her and she had helped out scar before um well she came in with the badao drawing alchemy signs with her foot she's pretty neat she's pretty neat i like her winry is as is going back home um yeah so we didn't see the conclusion of the fight between ling and envy right we didn't see a conclusion to that did we i think we did because they dipped yeah no what am, what am i talking about ling yes there was a conclusion to it not remembering correctly envy got eaten too so it was just ling out there but i also have this theory about where i talked where i said that um, the Elric brothers, their dad has something to do with this. I don't know what it is yet, but I was thinking that maybe he is the master. He, he is the one that created all the homunculus or homunculi. I'm thinking that maybe he's the mastermind behind this whole thing. You know, we haven't officially met pride yet. That's the thing. It's another thing. Seems like it's a girl. Um, we haven't officially met pride this storyline is just it's just so good and i'm just now i had to pause to actually think about the writing coming all the way back from episode one and now everything is unfolding and it's such a like a, a breeze to 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 follow and the speculations that you might have of who's behind everything you know um, the choices and the stuff that they talk about with humans and stuff like that is like all you got to do is give them basically an emotional choice and see what they see what they do and to to envy it's an easy choice but it's really not none of that stuff is is easy you're basically telling him save your village and you know cooperate so the whole country can get destroyed and we'll save your village or don't cooperate with us and we'll destroy your village you know what i'm saying you 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 basically you're not necessarily giving an ultimatum it's more of like a, a um a non-choice kind of situation it's kind of like you really you're telling somebody a choice but they really don't have a choice you get what i'm saying it's still a choice in the basic level of what choosing is you get what i'm saying but at the same time it's still like an unbelievable impossible for you to make a choice if you are a good person it's like either way people are going to die so i do i sacrifice my village to save the rest of the country or do i keep my village and sacrifice the rest of the country it, it's kind of like if somebody tell you um you know like if you have a wife and and a couple of kids and you're held at gunpoint and they look at you and hold a gun to your head and be like um i could kill you and save your family or or i could kill all three of them and you survive like that's an impossible choice like what would you choose you know what i'm saying most people would be like nah i'll let him take me out and let my family live um some people would take the other choice and save themselves which is the, you look at it like oh it's okay it's a selfish choice but at the end of the day it's really an impossible choice to make because it's like either way somebody's going to die either way somebody's going to be hurt so how do you do it i don't know but one way or the other something has to happen right but you know so i like how they're playing and how they're doing it and kind of connecting it into a story where you can actually um look at this from a moral point of view and draw parallels about humans in real life you know what i'm saying it's just there's so many elements of that in this story that i really dig 
very much how they tackle those things i don't know what's going to end up um happening i can't even judge right now because it seems like mustang is in the belly of the beast right now you know what i'm saying literally both of them are in hell as you said so it's an awesome awesome show man i like it anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in to hear me dribble on about what i don't know but the story is very very comprehensive and i'm loving it thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace